Hey, what's going on everybody? In this video on NBA Top Shot, we're going to be looking at what they're doing this summer and how it's all been really good so far. So I like everything they're doing. Obviously, there's going to be a lot more to come. It's been pretty quiet, which has been a good thing. I mean, the market has been going up because of that. So we'll get into that and then just more stuff that they're going to be doing and stuff that they've recently done. So the most recent thing here is just a few days ago. They announced an Isaac Okoro challenge. So we got Okoro up here. Obviously, this isn't the moment for the challenge. It's actually a quest challenge. So if you haven't done it yet, don't know how to do it, I'll show you real quick. Just go to challenges and hover over active showcase quests. And then literally from here, you just click on it. And then they have a button where you can make your own. I already made mine, so I don't think the button's there. I can show you mine really quick. So they make it insanely easy for you. They literally just have blanks and then they have a list of your moments that you could pick from that fit the blanks. And if you can fill them all, then you don't have to buy any moments for the showdown quest. But you can also just go to the market and buy them for the quest. For this one specifically, you needed three Cavaliers players and four dunks. So the dunks are insanely easy to come by. It seems like over 50% of the moments are dunks. Anyways, and then I just happened to have three Cavaliers in my collection. So I had Dean Wade, I had an Okoro, and then a Drummond from the Cavs. And I think I even had a couple other ones just happened to have them, so I didn't have to buy them. Some of the moments went up a bit. As you saw, that Okoro was six bucks. I've seen it at seven or eight during the quest. And then basically what we're getting from this is a Summer League moment. So it's going to be pretty valuable considering the summer league moments that we have seen out so far and it is a whole new category of moments so if we come to the marketplace we can check these out so over here i just typed in summer and they're all going to come up so it's these first three so far rj hampton is up to 129 dollars and killian hayes is 93 jeez and bull bulls up to 49 now so uh, in my last video, I talked about these. I think they were at 60 and 70, and I asked if they were going to go north of 100. Didn't actually think they would, but RJ Hampton all the way up to 129. So obviously, this is only out of 2,200, where the Bull Bulls out of over 4,000. So almost double what the RJ Hampton is out of. But I thought at 39.40, Bull Bull was too low. I almost bought it. I guess I should have. I think this probably will even go up even higher and then they're going to do a challenge off of this not a showdown quest as well i think for the fifth moment where you're going to need the coro plus these three for that challenge so look out for that but wow these have skyrocketed so you can see the fandom is the tier i guess is what they're called so there's only going to be five until the foreseeable future I forget exactly how they're putting these out. I think they're in the form of quests and challenges. You're going to get fandom moments. But right now, they're super limited. These are just skyrocketing right now, which is crazy. I haven't looked at them in a couple days. But basically, just for doing this quest, you get an Okoro fandom moment. I don't know how many people are going to be completing this. I would say north of 10,000. So it's not going to be worth as much. But... If we come back and look at here, Bull Bull out of 4,000 is say the Koro's out of 12,000, then maybe it'll be worth like 20 bucks. So not a ton of value in the moment, but it's a really easy quest to complete. I didn't have to buy anything. And you're gonna get one probably at least worth 20 bucks, maybe 15 to 20 bucks. And then you have a chance obviously of getting a good cereal in the pool. And then when the challenge comes around, it could even go up higher. So definitely do that quest. I mean, if you haven't, just look at how cheap some of these Cavaliers players are. You can get one for five bucks. You can get a JaVale McGee out of 35,000 for five bucks. You could even get a Kevin Love here for five bucks out of 40,000 still. So pretty cheap. I mean, these aren't going to dip that far down after the challenge it'll go down to three so you're really losing like two bucks um, on that and then i actually do have two hard steins that aren't in my showdown quest so i might sell one now while it's at eight bucks uh, to try to get a little extra profit off one of my hard steins and then i actually have a number 42 serial hard stein 
which is up for sale right now for 42 bucks but that one hasn't sold another thing the top shot is doing this summer or actually not doing is releasing a ton of packs which has been super good i mentioned in the beginning of the video but you can see here all the way back to july 30th was the last common pack drop we have had so here it is right here so it's been almost three weeks now since we've had a common pack drop or really any pack drop i can't remember if the legendary was before or after this but it was either a couple days before or after but yeah no pack drops and then there isn't even a mention of when the next one will come or any mention of it at all it's supposed to be a run it back pack but we haven't had one for three weeks we're definitely probably not going to have one in even a week from now so it could be over a month maybe even a month and a half two months until we get a run it back pack so i'm thinking they're going to do all the summer league stuff they're going to wrap up this challenge for isaac okoro then they're going to have the summer league challenge where you need all four of them to get the fifth summer league moment and once that is all done they'll maybe the next step for them is announcing the run it backpack maybe in like two weeks from now so we'll see but really uh all the moments have been going up because of this so people aren't just getting their packs, listing them for lower than whatever's on the market and people are buying those up. Instead, people are coming to the market and buying the lowest ass, which drives prices up on all these moments, uh, which has been really good. And especially I think it's good in the summer not to release a ton of packs. So we'll see what happens when the regular season starts in the rest of the summer. Hopefully they keep the packs minimal again, maybe one or two or three pack drops for run it back during the rest of the off season until we hit next season at the end of October, I believe is when it'll start. So I'm super down for one a month, maybe even one every six weeks pack drop during the summer. I'm excited for the running back packs. Also, what they're going to do for those. Obviously, if you don't know running back moments, they're moments from previous seasons before Top Shot. So we got like a Tony Parker, and this is actually a championship moment, which is pretty cool. So they can do things like that. Like Obviously, some guys you're looking for is Michael Jordan, Kobe Bryant, those kind of players to be in some running back moments. But they even have guys like Otto Porter Jr., Brooke Lopez. So they're kind of all over the place with the running back moments. But they're supposed to have common packs of running back and then also I think a rare pack of running backs. So we'll probably see those two drops sometime this summer uh, for those packs. But right now everything's just laying low. That's why I haven't been making too many videos on Top Shot because there's just not a ton of news, not a ton of packs to make videos on. But I appreciate you guys checking out this one. If you enjoy videos like this, Definitely subscribe to the channel for more updates when they come. I'm not going to be putting out a ton, like I said, because not a lot going on. But when I feel like there should be a video out about some news or some potential things happening with Top Shot, I'm going to put out a video. So stay subscribed. Leave your comment down below about what you think about what they're doing with these quests and in the off season and with the packs. Seems like all good stuff to me. I'm enjoying the off season. It's a lot more fun than May and June when all the prices were just dipping down. So definitely give this video a thumbs up, a like button, and I'll catch you guys in another one.